everyone, thank you for tuning in to Pace Yourself. Today we'll be talking about how to configure a product bundle. So a product bundle is really a group of products showcased all together on the quote line. So it's made up of product options and features, which are both aspects of CPQ. So at the beginning we have to start with a lead product. So you can see here our lead product is our drone extended fly package. And we have to create some features and options for it. So features are just a group of product options showcased on the configurator, making it easy for your sales reps to identify what type of product option that is just a bit quicker. You could separate things like indoor and outdoor furniture or hardware, software, warranty. You could even make a feature called related products and chuck everything else in there for upselling or cross-selling. So we're going to start by creating some features. So for our drone package, we're going to create the hardware components. So hardware feature. So the number refers to the sort order and what it shows up in the configurator. So we're going to put 10. So far it'll be our first one. The minimum option dictates how many items from that feature are required to continue on to add that package to the quote. So we're going to say one because we're going to say we're going to put things is required when they're in this feature. And we're going to click Save and New to create another one. This feature is going to be called Accessories. I'm going to put it as number two in the sort order. Minimum quantity, I'm going to put zero. Because we don't want to actually require any of these. They're just other items if they want to be included in the package. Click Save. So now we've got some features to work with. We're going to add some options. So the options are actually the products within the bundle. So let's go ahead and create our first option. So our first option will be our battery pack. The number again re refers to the sort order. And it's already picked up our parent object here because I'm creating it from the related list on the parent object. And I'm going to put it under the feature hardware. I'm going to have it selected for the sales rep so they don't have to do anything. I'm going to leave it as required. And the quantity will be three because this package actually has more batteries. So the type we're going to leave it as component. Component means it's closely tied to the parent object. So if you double the parent object, it'll double the quantity of this option. But it's not associated to the price. So the next important bit is called ticking the bundled checkbox. This will mean that it will showcase as zero dollars and will be included as part of the price. We're going to click save and new to create another product option. So our next product option is a pair of drone blades. I'm going to make sort order two. I'm going to put it in the hardware feature as, as well. We're going to put it as quantity one. I'm going to have it as an accessory. So it's something that they can purchase on top of the product package. And we're going to leave it as not bundled. Save and new. Let's put our last product option on here, which is a drone backpack. Our sort order will be three. And our product feature will be accessories. I'm going to change the type to related product. So it has no relation to our parent product. It is purely for upselling and cross-selling if the sales reps would like to add on a product. We'll hit save. So now we're back to our parent object. We want to make sure our price configurator pops up when our sales reps add it to the quote. So we'll go ahead and click edit. Our parent product, we actually have to choose a configuration type. So required means it has to happen at every point. Allowed, you're giving the ability to sales rep to choose when it pops up, and disabled, it never will pop up and you'll go straight to the quote line with the pre-filled required product options. Configuration event, we've got edit, so this will pop up when you only edit on the quote line. Add only happens when you add it to the quote line, and always happens with every change. Salesforce recommend best practices to click add, so that it saves the uh, load time on your quote line. 
let's click save. So that now we've created our lead product or parent product, our features and our product options. Let's see what it looks like when you add it to a quote. So we're going to click a blank quote. I'm going to add our drone package. So up pops our configurator. So you can see here our two features, hardware and accessories. And then the three drone batteries are already pre-selected and the quantity is locked. Our accessory, so our pair, is an additional cost if I'd like to put it on. And our accessories, which is our related products type, is down here. So let's click them all. And now you can see I actually get a choice to see how many backpacks I'd like to add to the quote. I'm going to leave it as one. Excellent. So all our products have come up and are indented underneath our package. And you can see here that it's included the drone batteries for no additional cost. I've included the accessories at an additional cost being the blades and the backpack, which is that related product we added for an additional cost as well. So the only bundled product, which is truly tied to the quantity value, if I change the quantity of my drones and hit calculate, you see that my drone batteries will increase by that quantity of three and still stay included in the price. So that's how you configure a product bundle with all the configuration types and also how to create features and product options. So thank you for tuning in to Pace Yourself with Mia Pacey.